we're going to look at this idea of addressing modes and we're going to look at this distinction between immediate addressing, in direct memory addressing and also register addressing. So we're going to compare those diff three different types of addressing using a, a variety of examples. So let's make a start with this looking at immediate addressing. So I'm going to put in a comment. So the way we do comments, we do backslash and then we just write our comment in. So we're going to look at, as I said, immediate addressing. We're going to use the move operator in this case. So we're going to move, let's say, number five into register one. And we know this is immediate addressing because we've used, we're using the hashtag. So that implies, well, that says that that is immediate addressing. So we're taking that value directly and putting it into register one. So let's assemble that code and run it through. So you can see the value five now has been stored in register one and then our program halts. Okay, let's continue to adapt our program now to include the other types of addressing. So the next one I wanna look at is uh, register addressing. So we're gonna do, again, just put a comment in here. Okay, and if we now, Again, we're going to use the move operator. So again, R, R, zero this time. So we're going to put our value in R0. We're going to copy our value from R1. So we're copying, well, if we're putting five into R1, and then we're copying R1 to R0, so then five should end up in, in register zero. So we can, again, compile that and step it through. So we're moving number five into register one, and then moving the value in register one into register zero, which is what happened. So that's exactly what we wanted there. So that's immediate addressing and register addressing. So our move operator allows us to do both of those. There's another type of addressing as well as the direct memory addressing, which is what we'll show, show in, the next, in the next step. And we have to use a different operator for that. So we, this time we use the LDR, so that's the load. So we're going to store that in our uh, in, in our two register two, and we're going to store the value at memory address. Well, let's say twenty. And in this case now we are referring to the memory address location, not to obviously direct values. So if again if we assemble that and the um, memory location 20 is, well, if that's 0, that's 4, 8, 12, 16, so that's 20 is here. So I'm going to put the value, uh, I'm going to put the value 6 in there. Okay, and let's, uh, let's step, step it through. So we do, let's modify the memory contents and let's step it through. So we've got uh, the first steps, done the first steps, so it's copied 5 into register 1, it's copied five into register zero, and then it's loading the value six, which is a memory location 20 into register two, which is what it's done. So those are three different types of addressing referring to an immediate addressing where we have the value that we're storing. We've got register addressing, so referring to the register, and then we have direct memory addressing where we are putting a value in memory and then we're referring to the memory address rather than the value itself.